Alrighty, hopefully you can read those words. All right, uh, thank you for joining me today. In today or in this ep, or excuse me, in this exercise, as with others, a part of the series, I'll be reading a paragraph to you. Embedded within the paragraph are the potential for errors related to syntax, grammar, spelling, and so forth. So bear that in mind as I read it to you. Afterwards, I'm going to step out of frame and ask that you pause the video to make your corrections independently. Resume so that you and I can correct them together. Um, ideally, your corrections will align with my own. Otherwise, feel free to let me know which modifications you've made in lieu of my own, or in addition to the ones we or I have made with you uh, in the comment section below. For now, let's go ahead and get started. I am really dating myself with this one. So I am the only one in my family who likes rap music. Grandma Delia, mom and dad think rap music sound like a lot of yelling. I would agree. All right, I like the way rap songs talk about life. For example, Can't Wake Up, a song by Flip Dillies, is about a kid who never makes it to school on time. I also like Almost Grown, his song about a teenager who can't wait to grow up. Last week, I spent two weeks worth of allowance to buy the hottest new CD by Big Winnie, the famous rap artist. <clears throat> All right, as mentioned before, go ahead and pause the video here to make your corrections independently. All right, I'm moving, so let's go ahead and make our corrections together. Starting at the beginning, uh, subject pronoun I, we're gonna go ahead and capitalize it. I am the only one in my family who likes rap music, period. Now, you would consider rap to be a proper noun since it's the name of a particular genre of music. However, we treat it as a general noun, so we're gonna keep it lowercase. Next sentence, however, starts with the capital, grandma, Delia being a proper noun, so we're gonna go ahead and capitalize that comma, mom, comma, and dad. And I'm gonna go ahead and lowercase mom because that is also considered a uh, general noun unless of course you're treating it as a name, but in this case, we're not. So going back, Grandma Delia, mom, and dad, think rap music sounds, we're gonna add that, right? Progressive, like a lot of yelling, period. I like the way rap songs talk about life, comma. And we're gonna lowercase the F. For example, can't wake up it's the name of a specific song so i'm going to go ahead and wrap that in quotes can't wake up oh we can find the right spot can't wake up and then comma to follow that ending quote a song about i'm sorry a song by flip dillies flip will need to be capitalized it's a part of the name comma is about a kid who never makes it to school on time period i also like quote almost grown again the end quote is going to come right before the comma not after his song about a teenager who can't, we wanna make this the contraction, so C-A-N apostrophe T, so can and not, wait to grow up, period. Next sentence, let's start with the capital. Last week, I spent two weeks, we're gonna get rid of that apostrophe, we're not referring to the possessive, we're talking about a multitude of weeks, more than one, worth of allowance to buy the hottest, remember single syllable words like hot, ending in a consonant, you'll need to double the consonant before you append a suffix, in this case, the superlative. So we're gonna do H-O-T-T-E-S-T, -T -T, new CD by big, part of the name, Winnie, comma, the famous rap artist, period. And we'll go ahead and conclude that here. All right, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you would like to continue to practice with me, by all means, please subscribe. I look forward to working with you again. All right, 